next, um, we wanted to show you what we ended up getting um, at the supermarket. It ended up being a bust with the um, the Kosher Mart. Upside down. It ended up being a bust. It wasn't a meat. It, they didn't sell meat. They were actually like a, some type of kosher foods distributor. So we ran to ShopRite. ShopRite did have a kosher section. However, uh, they were shut down. And we um, just went on a got lamb again. Again, as we said, we weren't, you know, we weren't going to trip if it wasn't a so-called kosher because I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Um, it's not biblical, so I, I don't stress out. So we have a leg of lamb. We got this piece because I think this year we will probably have less people than last year. And that's okay because over the year um, we have fine-tuned, learn more, and we're just kind of starting to see, I guess you would say, a separation even more so between, I guess, the people we thought that were following literally and those, you know, I guess that, you know, they choose to, I guess, just stay on the path that they're on. So, you know, um, it is what it is. So this is the lamb. And so, you know, we'll go in later how we're going to break this up and how we're going to um, to eat and cook that. And um, also, what we had against us was it's also Shabbat. So we got caught in traffic, uh, coming back, and I got a late start with getting dinner ready. But this is our meal, just to show you, too. Um, this is our meal for tomorrow, which will mostly be cold foods that we keep in. So I have a little devil eggs, um, just some stuff to like dip, fruit and salad. Um, we'll have the salad tonight even with the chicken. So... You know, racing against the clock. I don't even want to say it was a race because the clock just definitely beat us uh, as far as um, being prepared before sundown. But still, we purpose to do it. A little bit of coleslaw, too. So that's where we are right now. And um, I know my hubby's going to be down here pretty soon, um, ready to eat. He always is um, before I'm quite done. So I just wanted to share that much with you. This is the lamb. It is a leg of lamb shank. And the secret to... You know, getting meat always is um, seasoning and taking your time to slow cook it. You cannot boil this. It has to go, like, be roasted with fire, so he will put it on the grill. He's going to cut it up on Sunday. So we're shutting down all work, but however, we still will um, document as we continue to go through this weekend because as of Saturday evening, we'll continue with... Um, prepping the house for unleavened bread. So we'll do that because that holiday falls or feast day falls right after, immediately after um, Passover where you get rid of all the yeast, um, all the leaven, you get you get rid of that out of your house. So I still have a question actually, I'm not sure because I know egg is a leavening agent, but I don't know if we're actually to get rid of egg. I don't know, to be on the safe side, I wanna get rid of it. Hubby is like, maybe not. So I'm not sure. Again, even with that, that's a technicality. I would like to be pure. But the main purpose is to get rid of the leaven in your life during that feast, to focus on that. So the leaven represents the sin. So what good would it be if I get rid of the eggs and I'm not checking myself? Because that's what this time is to reflect. So again, this is Shabbat, um, something that the Messiah practiced or observed because he was obedient unto the father and because we as his servants are not above the master we have to submit just as he submitted just as the disciples submitted just as Paul submitted they would read the law um, in the synagogue if that's a correct word I have so many questions um, on Shabbat or uh, the seventh day versus uh, Sunday Sunday worship there was no Sunday worship, but again, another topic, another day, and my husband's going to come back. We'll come back tomorrow and talk a little bit more, but this is the lamb that we did get, and we'll provide the scriptures and everything for you tomorrow. Shalom and Shabbat Shalom.